Hi, I'm Scott from FastView, and in this video I'm going to take you through the installation and setup process for FastView for TMG. So here I've got a couple of remote desktop connections to two of my servers. One is my company's Forefront TMG server, and the other is a server that I've designated to be the FastView for TMG dashboard server. So I've downloaded FastView for TMG and I've placed the setup XE on the desktop for each of these servers. I'm going to start with my web server here, so I'm just going to double click the setup XE. Here I have the option to install either the FastView dashboard or the FastView Arbiter. The Arbiter is an agent that needs to be installed on the TMG server, and I'll show you that process in a moment, but for now I'm going to choose to install the FastView dashboard. Now as this is a clean installation of Windows Server 2008 R2, it asks me to install the .NET Framework 3.5, so I'm going to click Yes to that prompt. Once the .NET Framework installation is complete, there is a prompt to install IIS. IIS is the web server that comes with Windows, and the FastView dashboard server requires it to run the web application. So click Yes, and IIS will be automatically installed and configured. OK, and once IIS has finished installing, we're ready to start installing the FastView dashboard. So click Next on the Welcome page, accept the license agreement, choose the installation path, and choose to install the FastView dashboard service. Here we can specify the website that we want to install the dashboard to. So I'm going to choose default website and I'm going to enter a virtual directory name of FastView. The dashboard data location is where you would like the dashboard to store all of its data. Quite a bit of information may get stored to this location over time, so make sure you specify a location with plenty of disk space. Click Next and then click Install to complete the installation. And that's it. We'll click Finish. So now I can go to Start, Programs, FastView, and there's a link to launch the FastView dashboard. Now as doing any sort of web browsing from a Windows server is generally a pretty awful experience, I'm going to jump back to my local desktop and launch the latest edition of my favourite browser and browse to the new FastView dashboard. So to browse to the dashboard server, simply enter the name or IP address of the dashboard server plus the virtual directory that you entered during the installation wizard. Okay, so on the start page, you can either enter the name of your TMG server into this edit box and hit go, but to do that you need to install the FastView Arbiter on your TMG server first, or you can simply click run in demo mode. Demo mode is a nice easy way to see the product in action without actually connecting to a live TMG server. And once some data has been processed, you can see the FastView dashboard, and click the bandwidth, productivity, and firewall tabs and also view some default alerts. OK, but before I get too carried away with demo mode, what I really want to do is hook this into my live TMG server. So to do that, I'm going to need to install the Arbiter on my TMG server. So I'll remote to my server, and again, I'll just double click the setup XE for FastView TMG. And this time, instead of choosing to install the FastView dashboard, I'm going to install the FastView Arbiter. Click Next on the welcome screen. Again, accept the license agreement choose the installation location, and choose to install the FastView Arbiter service. Click Next, and Install, and then Finish. So once you've installed the FastView Arbiter, you'll see that there's a FastView Arbiter settings application that's been installed. Now you don't need to worry about changing any of the Arbiter's settings, unless you have changed the location of your TMG web proxy or firewall log files. So by default, the log files are stored in C, Program Files, Microsoft Forefront Threat Management Gateway logs. So if you've changed that to a different location, just come into the Sources tab and edit that location here. The Arbiter and the Dashboard communicate on a specific port, port 49361 to be exact. Unless you have some very lenient firewall policies, chances are this port will be blocked by your TMG server. So what we need to do is add an access rule in TMG to allow communication on this port between the dashboard server and the TMG server. So to do that, go into your TMG management console, click firewall policy on the left, and click create access rule on the right hand side. Give the rule a name, such as FastView, and click next. Select the allow action, and click next. And on the protocols page, click add, and we're gonna create a new protocol. Call the protocol FastView, for example. Click Next. Click New on the Primary Connection Information page and enter the port number 49361 in both the From and the To fields. Make sure protocol type is TCP and direction is outbound. And then click OK. 
and click next. Select no for secondary connections and click finish to add the protocol. You'll find our new protocol under user defined. Select fast view and click add. Click next. On the access rule sources page, we want to add our dashboard server. One way you can do that is to add a new computer object. I'll call this fast view dashboard and the IP address and click OK and click add. And then we can click next. And in the access rule destinations, we want to add this local TMG server. So we'll do that by adding a local host. Click next. Simply select all users on the user sets page and click finish to add the access rule. And then make sure you hit apply to save your access rule. Okay, so now we have the Arbiter installed, let's go back to our dashboard and add it as a source. So to do that, go to the settings tab and you'll see the demo source here already. So what we need to do is click add source and enter the name or IP address of the TMG server. And click add source. And now our new source has been added to the page with a few details such as the first and last date the number of records that have been imported, the records per second, the number of issues and the status. So let's go back to the dashboard page. It's similar to the way it looked in demo mode, only now we're actually looking at live data from our TMG server. So there you have it. I've installed FastView for TMG, I'm monitoring my TMG server in real time, and I've managed to do it all in under seven minutes. If you haven't tried it yet, head to fastview.co slash download to grab a copy of our free 30 day trial. And if you have any questions, all our contact details can be found at support.fastview.co. I hope you found this demo useful. Thanks for watching.